www.spinofunctionalanatomyseminars.com. We have a 33-year-old uh, baseball player here uh, with, with posterior superior glenohumeral joint impingement. Um, one thing that I, I often notice uh, with this condition and various shoulder conditions is that the posterior deltoid often undergoes neurological uh, tightness. Uh, and if you've been following the blog, you'll know how I define neurological tightness versus mechanical tightness. Um, and the difference in, in with regards to how I treat neurological versus mechanical tightness. Um, so in this case here, um, for the neurological tightness, that would be uh, the underlying cause would be neurological. So I often go to uh, medical acupuncture for treatment. Um, so what I've done here is I've just lined up uh, four needles into the uh, into the posterior delt, and I'm going to use a pointer plus. Uh, stimulation unit um, to try to stimulate the motor points and uh, and normalize uh, the motor neuron pool activity. Uh, so you'll see when I stimulate the muscle that I will get involuntary contraction of that muscle and I will do it on each of the needles. A lot of times people uh, mistake pain in the posterior shoulder for, for being uh, teres minor uh, pain or on palpation, when in reality the posterior deltoid uh, is the muscle that actually becomes neurologically uh, tight, whereas the teres minor uh, most often becomes mechanically adhered. Um, so you got to be careful as to which muscle you're actually palpating so you can determine uh, what you want to treat, and whether or not you want to treat it with mechanical means, with uh, functional range release or soft tissue treatment versus uh, more neurological based treatment like uh, medical acupuncture, in this case motor point stimulation. Okay, so I will do this for a few minutes on each needle and then I, uh, I'll recheck to see if the tone in the muscle is, uh, is decreased. That's, that's something that's never Nothing that you never